Hello, I'm Julia. I'm a Pilates teacher from Manchester in the UK. I've got a couple of little posture exercises for you to try and also a strength exercise using these resistance tubes. Let me show you what I've got here. There are actually five tubes and they're different uh, strengths and they come with handles that you can obviously hold, handles for holding, but also as well as the handles that you can hold, there are these straps. These are Velcro straps which will go around your ankle, so you can use them around your ankles. I'm not going to use those today, so I'll set those to one side. The other thing that comes with this set, which I think is really great, is this stopper, which you can use with your door, or in my case I'm going to use the window, yeah? And this is really great actually because very often there are resistance exercises we want to do but we need a fixed point, we need to have the tube fixed to something. So let's put that to one side for a moment and just talk about these tubes. Like I say, they are different strengths. Um, you can actually put all five tubes on the handles. Yes, the, hand the handles will allow you to clip all five on. But I've just clipped one tube on. I'm going to put the other ones down for now. And um, with this one tube, I'm going to show you, first of all, my most favourite posture exercise. So obviously, as a Pilates teacher, I'm concerned with posture all the time. But I do also like to train for strength for myself as well. So I'm going to show you a strength exercise in a moment. So I'm holding the handles. Yeah. And then I'm just going to hold inwards a little bit to create kind of about that much length, but this is negotiable. You can choose what is the right length for you. And of course, we've got lots of different resistances to choose from as well. I'm gonna take the arms above my head, nice and tall, and then from this V-shaped position, I'm gonna pull down into a W. So this is your VW, yeah? So as you're pulling down, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your shoulder blades together. And one of the reasons why this is my most favorite posture exercise using the resistance tube is that as well as strengthening the muscles across the back you are also stretching the muscles of your chest yeah so as i pull down i squeeze the shoulder blades together and that's the strengthening for the muscles of the upper back and then as i pull down i have to open the chest so typically in your typical kyphotic posture Got a bit of that going on myself. <laughs> um, these muscles here get a bit tight, yeah? And the ones across your back get slack. So in this one exercise of VW, um, we've got the problem, or the solution I should say, of stretching the chest and strengthening the muscles of the upper back. So that's my number one favorite exercise, but that was until I got this set. <laughs> because until I got the set with the stopper, I wasn't able to fix the tube to a, an inanimate object, so now I can do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stopper outside of the window and then close the window so this will be a secure point. So I'm going to put that through there. I know you can't see me putting it into the window, but I'll do a little cutaway photo for you so you can see exactly how it lines up. But that just goes, stopper outside the window, just line the strap flat, closing the window. I would also recommend, by the way, everyone, that when you're using tubes, bands, all these different bits of resistance equipment, that you always check that there's no rips or nicks or tears, because obviously, if the tube was to stretch or to snap, <laughs> then you, you would not want it to fly in your face. So make sure you keep your tube in good order and always check. So this is a standing row, and this is a very similar exercise to our VW, just done a different plane of movement, yeah? So we were working in the frontal plane before and now we are sagittal. So I want you to think of squeezing your shoulder blades together with this one, yeah? Excellent. Now, what I also want to propose to you is the idea of trying to use the muscles of the upper back but without your elbows joining in because when you do this standing row, as well as the muscles in the back working, your biceps are going to join in. So to eliminate the biceps from working, you're going to lengthen the arms, you keep the elbows soft, and now you have to really target the muscles of the upper back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, release and let it go, squeeze the shoulder blades. So can you see that my arms are barely changing shape and that the movement is all going to now happen in the back, whereas here, the elbows, if you like, were helping. It's not really the elbows, it's your biceps that help him. So this is your secured row 
with lengthened elbows where you're just targeting those muscles of the upper back and not letting anything help. So that's two posture exercises. Like I said, as a Pilates teacher, I'm all about the posture. However, my hobby, my favorite exercise in the gym is the deadlift. So I thought I'd show you how we can do a deadlift using these tubes and it's really great. So for my deadlift, I've now put two tubes on the handles. Uh, remember the deadlift is the king of lifts, isn't it? So you can probably manage quite a lot of resistance. Um, I've got the two heaviest tubes on here, the blue and the black are the heaviest, but there's no reason why you couldn't actually put all five on if you want to. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand with my feet. I'm gonna go for a little bit wider than uh, shoulder width, yeah? Just a smidge, smidge wider than shoulder width. Remember, the wider your feet are, the more tension you're gonna create. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross the handles over like that and then this is my broomstick <laughs> I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to use this arrangement to create lots of resistance for my deadlift now I'm assuming that you know how to deadlift that you know how to hinge the important thing with your deadlift is the hinge yeah? let me turn sideways so you can actually see my hinge <laughs> Again, thinking here about having lovely posture, squeeze your shoulder blades together, maybe nod your chin, be a bit head forward like I am, try nodding your chin back. Make sure your knees are relaxed, not locked out, and we're gonna hinge over and hinge back. Now, obviously, in the gym environment, with your Olympic lifting bar, you'll be starting your hinge from the floor and coming all the way up to the top. But I'm just gonna keep the tension on the band, yeah, on the tube, I should say. It's a tube, not a band. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the tension on the tube. So think of with this deadlift as starting the deadlift at the top and hinging over and hinging back. So we do see this type of deadlift quite a lot in group exercise. Um, so it is a little bit different than being stood in front of a, uh, on a deadlift platform <laughs> with your Olympic, bar in front of you but if you don't happen to have an olympic bar around this might be a nice substitute remember with these tubes you can take them anywhere can't you maybe not the broomstick <laughs> but you can definitely take your tubes anywhere you like and they're so versatile if i take my stick out and then maybe uncross I can go and do bicep curls. Ooh, but quite a lot of tension there. Bicep curls like this. You can cross over and do rows. So many things you can do with tubes. I could stand here all day. Um, but I think these are a really great thing for you to have at home to travel with. If like me, you live in an apartment and you don't have much space, then they're a really great piece of exercise equipment because you don't need much space. And also, if you're limited on the number of doors, it's quite good to have the stopper that will work with a window because not all arrangements work with a window, what this version does. So I hope that's helped. I hope that's inspired you. Um, you'll find these tubes on Amazon, um, anything between, I don't know, 15, 25 pounds. I'll put a link to the one that I bought in the um, in the description so you can have a little look at that one let me know if you've got any questions let me know if there's a particular exercise you'd like to do using your tube once you bought one thanks for watching bye bye